Now let's look at problem number 33. In problem number 33, I'd like to find the derivative of y equals x minus a over the square root of x minus the square root of a. And in order to do this problem, I'm going to use a little bit of a trick. So let me write down the trick and see if you agree with me that uh, this is the same thing as <coughs> x is the same as the square root of x quantity squared. And a uh, is the same as the square root of a quantity squared divided by the square root of x minus the square root of a. And again, you might say something like, now wait a second, what if x is negative? That doesn't work. You can't just turn it into the square root of x squared. And my answer to that would be, if x is negative, this whole thing doesn't make sense to start with. So we really don't have to worry about the places where x is negative. So we're fine. Uh, so let's look at this guy. Now I have the difference of two squares on top. And since it's the difference of two squares, I can factor it. So let's do that. So I'll factor this by the difference of squares into square root of x minus the square root of a times the square root of x plus the square root of a, all divided by the square root of x minus the square root of a. Now I have a square root of x minus square root of a on top. I have a square root of x minus square root of a on the bottom. Those cancel. And I'm left with uh, the square root of x minus the square root of a. Now, if you prefer, I could write this as x to the one-half power minus a to the one-half power. Okay, all of this is still y. I haven't taken any derivatives yet, and the reason I haven't taken any derivatives yet is because it's never been in a form where I feel comfortable taking the derivative. So I had to do some work and get it into a form where I could actually take its derivative. Now that it's in a nice form, I can use the power rule on these guys and get the job done. So now I want to say, okay, what's the derivative y prime? Well, here I've got x to the 1 half power. So if I use the power rule, I bring down the power, which is 1 half. And then I have x to the 1 half minus 1. Well, 1 half minus 1 is negative 1 half. So we get to the minus 1 half power. And so that's the derivative of x to the 1 half. And then I need to take uh, the derivative of negative a to the 1 half power. But a is just a constant. Okay, Since a is a constant, the derivative of a constant, even if it's raised to a power, is still 0. So the derivative of negative a to the 1 half is 0, so plus 0. And if I wanted to rewrite this, I could write it a little cleaner as, sorry, maybe I'll just write it underneath. This is y prime is equal to uh, 1 over 2 square roots of x. Because x to the negative 1 half power is actually a square root of x on the bottom of the fraction. So our answer to this problem is the derivative of y is 1 over 2 square root x.